This is Loki, he is around a year old, just over one years old. Um, his owners have brought him to us for our fast track session, which is basically us handling the dog, taking him out for some exposure in public. Um, I'm just getting to know him a little bit, seeing what his dog is like, assessing his lead manners, his stability, what he's like around traffic. We're hoping to see some other dogs, some cyclists, probably going to take him to the shopping centre tomorrow soon. allowed to smell everything and just weed from side to side. These are all the things that we're going to try to manage. Moving forward, I want to be able to let him off the lead, socialising with other dogs directly, and just let him have a happy life because he seems a little bit anxious to me. He's a little bit anxious. job to do instead of being a pain and start to make him enjoyable. Good lad. As he is now for me. Back to it. He may have to wait a little bit longer for his reward. 
the only thing that's missing for me at this moment in time is a distraction. Well, that's the problem. I'm not holding the lead is not an opportunity for him to go and misbehave himself. Come on Loki, good boy. Well done. Come on Loki. Whoa. Previously when Loki's been off lead with his owners, he takes the off lead situation as an opportunity to run up to strange people, strange dogs. Come on Loki. There's just a whole lack of trust there. Come on. Good boy. Well done. Good boy, Loki. Currently, I have more than one piece of equipment on Loki. I have a grok collar, a prong collar, and also a check chain. Now, normally, all of this equipment is not necessary. But earlier on, when I was trying to walk Loki, come on, Loki, this way. When I was trying to walk Loki earlier on, he was trying to destroy the equipment by chewing it. So I have more than one piece of equipment on him just to be able to manage him and control him if he does get off one of these pieces of equipment. But I have no food here, no ball, nothing to bribe this dog into staying with me whilst I'm out walking him in public. This is just what he should be taught is normal when he's out on a walk. Just stick with your handler regardless of distractions. Good boy, Loki. Come on in. Come on, lad. Good boy, Loki. Come on, this way. Sorry. No, sir, no problem. Thank you. So, because he's had a lack of guidance previously, Loki thinks it's appropriate the winter soldier to run up to strangers. Now, that lady was very reasonable, but some people may not see it as appropriate for year old Malinbar to be running up to them, they may find that quite intimidating. So we need to continue this style of training, take him to more places that have busier environments and a lot more distractions so that it becomes normal to him to ignore people. This style of training I implement with my dogs the first time they go out on a walk. I don't give them too much freedom. I teach them what is expected of them whilst out on a walk with me. They need to be following me, not running away, not running up to strange people or dogs. The basic foundations that need to be implemented into your training with any dog, regardless of age, is just to be calm and stable out in society. Loki's done really well there on his first off lead walk with me. I'm quite happy that he's willing to learn. He's taking it in his stride. I can see that he's still quite nervous and anxious. But with time, 
dedication, commitment, persistence, consistency is what's going to get this dog to behave like this all the time. Now we'll continue to work on his loose lead walking. Come on, Loki. As you can see now, no tension in my lead. Loki's making a decision to walk beside me. A very good decision. And if he does start to pull, a little bit of guidance is all that's needed. We're now bringing Loki up here to work on some more environmental exposure. There's a lot more distractions up here, it's a lot busier than where we were previously, but we really need to attempt to get him comfortable in these locations. walking past other dogs. He walked past that dog there, hardly no reaction, big reward for him after because we're showing him what the better decisions are. So if he makes a good decision to walk past the dog without showing any kind of reactivity or engagement, any stimulation towards the dog, he will be rewarded. Fantastic session there with Loki. He showed some excellent progress and understanding of this training method. He's showed that he can be calm and stable in society, in busy environments. Together with his owners, we'll work and start to prove that by taking him out to these places again. His owners will then handle him. I think we could have done a little bit more with him in this. 
this session in terms of exposure. The only thing that we haven't done is taken him out with other dogs. But because he's done so well, I think we'll just rest him up on this one next time. It will be the same, but with other dogs in the environment so that he knows how to behave around other dogs also. If you have any problems with dogs that are nervous, anxious, aggressive, reactive, overexcited, whatever the problem might be, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. We'll get your consultation booked and we'll assist your dog for